Hey Bears, Eric here, and it's finally worked. The gay agenda has finally paid off. It is finally paying off for us. Victory! We are getting a gay He-Man. That's right. It's official. He-Man is going to be gay. Oh, wait. No. No, he's not gay. He's just going to be played by a straight actor that has played a half dozen gay roles uh, in his career. And I'm not kidding. We're going to look through that in a second. Uh, anyway, sort of joking there, but we did get an announcement for who's going to be playing He-Man in the Masters of the Universe film, and it is Nicholas Galadzine. Now, you might know Nicholas from Red, White, and Royal Blue or Mary and George, which are probably the two like most recent projects that he's been involved in. And uh, in both of those properties, he plays a gay man. Now, Nicholas is straight. And uh, he's made comments about like how often he's played gay characters and things like that. We're going to look at some of those roles here in a second, but let's just jump into my thoughts and opinions on all of this. Uh, let's scroll down the article here. It says, uh, Nicholas Galazine of Red, White, and World Blue fame has been cast as He-Man in upcoming film Masters of the Universe. Kind of interesting they're going with Masters of the Universe and not He-Man in the Masters of the Universe. But that's kind of interesting. I don't really have a problem with that. Uh, the superhero first seen in 1982 Masters of the Universe comics and later a hit TV show has long been interpreted as queer coded. You don't say. You don't say. I've been hearing about this pretty much my entire adult life. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Galazine has won acclaim for playing gay roles in Red, White, and Royal Blue in Mary and George. Now, this is going to come from the Bumblebee filmmaker Travis Knight, set to direct it. Uh, previously in development at Sony and Netflix for Amazon, MGM Studios, and Mattel, Knight will work from a script by Chris Butler. Now, responding to the news on Instagram, uh, Nicholas said, by the power of Grayskull, I have the power. I'm so beyond proud to announce that I'll be playing Adam, Prince of Eternia, and Masters of the Universe. I'll be, look, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I would not be shocked if they end up making this version of He-Man a gay guy. Like, and the reason why I say that is just the sheer amount of projects that Nicholas has been attached to where he has played a gay character. Now, typically I wouldn't make a statement like this so far out, but literally, we're going to look here in a second. He has been in a lot of uh, TV shows, movies, things as gay characters. Then he says, it's been a dream for so long to play someone of his heart, humor, and heroism. I cannot wait to get started. So the thing is, right out of the gate, and I know people are going to say this, clearly um, Nicholas is not like super ripped. He's not a big muscular guy. And there's going to be complaints about that, but it's Hollywood. Hollywood changes people. We've seen it. We've seen people gain a lot of muscle mass from movies and roles. But if I were to guess... I would bet that they're going to visually enhance He-Man on screen with some sort of VFX. Possibly. Or, or maybe get another actor to portray He-Man like physically and then put Nicholas's face on that person. That would be a little weird, but they could do it. They've done it before. So I do think there's a possibility that they could do something along those lines. I'm not going to be too upset about that. I'll be honest, though, other than the fact that Nicholas has played a lot of royalty in, in roles, like a princely role, um, I don't know how I feel about him as this character. And I absolutely hope that they do the He-Man from like the most recent Netflix stuff, because I love that series. And that one, to me, is better than anything else ever made with He-Man. And I'm talking about going all the way back to my childhood with the original OG He-Man stuff, which, by the way, you may think it aged well, but if you go back and you watch it now, you'll be like, maybe it didn't age well. Uh, the newer interpretation, adaptation of He-Man on Netflix, to me, is peak. It's solid. I really enjoyed it. Let's take a look at Nicholas's roles, because I want you guys to understand just how many roles he's played where his character has been gay or queer. Every gay role Marion George star Nicholas Galazine has played to date. So we have here, um, there's another picture of him there. Uh, Angelo in Legends 2015, so uh, almost a decade ago. Okay, uh, Connor Masters in Handsome Devil. And here we have Timmy Andrews in The Craft Legacy. I didn't see that one. Uh, George Villiers in Mary and George. Prince Henry in Red, White, and Royal Blue. Um, so yeah, for a decade or so, he's been playing queer characters. And he does it so well, a lot of people thought he was actually queer. He was a gay guy. That's not really the case. And, uh, you know, 
I, I think I've seen a lot of positivity towards him as an actor um, playing queer characters, but there's still a lot of people who believe that representation is important and there's been so limiting roles for actual queer people to be in those roles. And gay guys don't always get hired to play straight roles that if Hollywood is going to be so strict about hiring gay people to play straight roles, they need to also like focus hiring gay people to play the gay roles. If that's the way Hollywood's going to go, because what we say, is that what we want? Do we want that? No, I don't think any of us really want that. I think we want actors to be able to explore and play different things in, in movies and TV shows. It really comes down to authenticity and care, concern, what the context of the character is, things like that. There's a lot of things that come into play for me as a viewer and as a gay person on how I would look at someone playing a gay role on TV. It's not always as simple as, you know, black and white when it comes to whether or not you agree or disagree with this. I think the issue is less with the actors and the people involved in acting and more with Hollywood and movie making in general. So for me, I would say it really just, it really does come down to the project and the role and the person attached to it. And I know people are probably going to be mad at me about that, but look, if you feel that actors who are queer should be playing queer roles, I understand that argument. And I would agree with a lot of those points. So we're not totally on a different page. I'm just saying that I think each project is different. And we need to kind of keep that in mind when we're looking at this. And I like Nicholas. He's, he's like a really nice guy and um, seems to really care about the queer community. So I could be wrong. Maybe he's exploiting us. You got to let me know in the comments below. But look, if you went on to enjoy this video, consider joining the revolution and uh, subscribing today to help diversify search results here on YouTube and break that nasty algorithm down so that different content rises to the top of search results. That is my goal here on YouTube. I want it to be entertaining. I want to chat with you guys about a community. And I also want to force YouTube to change the algorithm. If you want to take part in that, please hit the subscribe button, leave a like, and leave a comment down below your thoughts and opinions on any of this. Are you excited for a gay He-Man? Is this something you've been waiting for your whole life? Has the gay agenda worked? Have we finally won? We did it. We did it. Or is it just going to be another queer-coded version of He-Man? <laughs> Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section.